Hi guys, welcome back to another edition of Horse Racing Preview. <laughs> this week's feature comes to us from Belmont, so that must only mean one thing. No, not quite, but it is definitely time for the running of the Peter Pan Stakes. This here is a race for three-year-olds, and it is being run on a mile and eighth on the main track. Um, $300,000 purse, okay? Oh yeah, and this is also a race four, so it is an early one, guys, race four. Um, let's get started. I am liking Final Jeopardy in this one. Just throw that last race up. Get it out of here. Um, I mean, come on, guys. He was squeezed at the start, and then he was just, like, shuffling all over around the track. So, I mean, I'm guessing that that squeeze at the start is what caused him to lose this race. So, I'm not even going to consider it. <laughs> um, guys, I do like the fact, also, I think maybe... The fact that this is a very reduced field might help him out too as well. Um, you know, obviously there's only five horses in this race. Um, so he should be able to decipher the track a little bit better. And with such a small field, he might even do a little more of a, of a closing bid for you. Um, you know, he only has to pick out four other horses. So <laughs> maybe check out check out Final Jeopardy, see if he comes a little bit out of the clouds for you on, on Saturday. Um, but I also do like one more thing about him. I ran our teases up, and I ran our tees is the only jog that's got him any wins. So, that might be a, a play for you right then and there. <laughs> Alright guys, moving right along. Um, Intrepid Heart, um, he stopped very, very nicely last time out from third, got got a Vic, and then of course his main embrace, he, he broke that, um, going gate to wire, winning by over seven for you. Uh, but guys, I, I just don't, I'm not comfortable with the fact that he has never raced in a stakes before. So that's why I'm placing him second. Um, this will be a good try from the Peter Pan Will. Um, a good try to see what this horse is really made of. <laughs> and guys, wrapping up my trifecta here, I'm like in federal case to run third. Um, this horse is also another great soccer. Um, but I like that he has been in a couple of stakes. And, um, but the only thing I am questioning is, uh, about federal case is, uh, the fact that the last time and the only time he's ran over a mile, he also got bought. Um, you know, he did a little hop at the start, and so that probably cost him his race. You know, I think he finished seventh in that race. Um, so I really don't know if he's good at long distance or if he's a better, um, what do you call it, <laughs> better speed horse, you know, a better um, sprinter. That's the word I was looking for. Sorry, guys. I, I was trying to blank. Um, if he's a better sprinter. So with this horse being over a mile, eight, or over a mile, um, two turns, obviously, um, we'll have to, to see if this is really going to be his gig or if he's going to have to go back to sprinting. I don't know. We'll have to find out. <laughs> and, guys, finally, the JC Upset Special, Sir Winston. Guys, I've said it before, and I'll say it again. If you like what you see, and I know that you do, please hit subscribe so you never, ever miss a video. And please share it with all your horse racing friends so they can hit subscribe, and they will never, ever miss a video as well. And, of course, I'll be back next week for my take on the preak. Bye, guys.